Game on. He is a new dad. So congratulations to him and his partner. I'm sure there'll be some folk expecting some sort of Ooh, nappy what? factor <laughs> or new dad bounce. But to be honest, all he needs to do is play like he's been doing for most of the European Tour. And he's got a great chance, not just of winning this game against Kenyan Ayans, but going all the way to the title. Rob Malarkey is with me to find out if he can get things off to a good start against the Belgian. Yeah, and even if he doesn't, you suspect that he might well have enough in hand anyway, because Kenny Nayans, this is a, a big step up in class and a big step up in trip for him. After his uh, opening salvo yesterday, he had the good fortune of drawing Sean Negret, the young uh, Gibraltarian qualifier in round one and despite missing 21 darts at a double uh, Nayans came through uh, by virtue of a 6-1 scoreline but this is uh, a whole new ball game today and Humphreys no matter how limited his sleep has been this week I do not care he should be more than capable of coming through this one but never say no hey. that's the caveat that I will and just throw in. In the opening exchanges here, Easy Kenny Nayans more than holding his own. In fact, he's the better player. And he's going for the 1-3-2 by the looks of it. Well, he was trying to, and that dart of the treble 19 has sailed into the sevens, but still in a half-decent position here. All of a sudden, it's looking a little more precarious. Yeah, he's going to have to... I mean, that's a huge blocker there from that left-hand dart. Oh, and word, he's done well to squeeze that one in. Steps over to the right-hand side of the hockey. There was a bit of left-hand side on that one, and in it goes for one mil to Kenny Nains of Belgium. 44. Lovely dart. Echoes of last year for Nains, as we said yesterday, beat a, a Gibraltarian player in round one 12 months ago in Gibraltar before losing 6-0 to Jose de Souza. Won't be losing 6-0 tonight. Against one of the, well, the top player in the field, the number one seed on this occasion. Yeah, winner faces Wesley Plazier, who came through against Dave Chisnell. A win which, personally, I thought put him in the European Championship, but not actually the case. So he's going to have to win his next game against either Luke or Kenny to get himself to Dortmund. 27. That doesn't help. No, you need as many points as he can to register to give yourself a fighting chance and man or against a man who's looking at uh, potentially a fifth European Tour title of the year. He's won five PDC ranking oh, titles this year. With a success on the Pro Tour as well. Yeah, which takes the total number of senior PDC titles he has to five. It's all happened this year for him. Mm. UK Open finalist last year, multiple Pro Tour finalists last year, but just couldn't get over the line. Things have changed. But the problem that Luke has had is in the big TV tournaments, things haven't gone how he would have hoped. 40. Can he require 96? Hasn't gone how he hoped either. All two double 19s. It's not even close, that, is it? Yeah, he was way off on the treble 19, and he was some distance away from the double 19 so clearly a work in progress for Kenny Nayans uh, but this is not the time to be experimenting and Luke Humphries steps in to level things up at one apiece just under 24 thousand pounds separating Humphries and Michael Van Gerwen on the Pro Tour order of merit yeah it's the first experience that he's had this year because of all those wins Luke Humphries actually going to events and being the top seed and he said that in itself was a strange experience I believe if I remember rightly the first day that he was 100. the number one seed and it might have been because of a withdrawal of somebody probably MVG I think I think he went out in the very first round and he said I, I did feel it I felt there was a weight of expectation target on the back yeah. and uh, didn't particularly like it oh, more points on the floor and just the one registered so far and Kenny Nayans this is something he's going to have to address because that's happened three times already in this match, and we're only two and a bit legs in. Yeah, it's hard enough to beat Luke Humphries if you're throwing three darts. If you're throwing fewer than that, you've got a real problem. But I... OK. 56. Well, I suppose he's going on the 18s because there was a two on the end of it, but... OK. 
That was the aforementioned Wesley Plazier, by the way. He is lying in wait, so no doubt uh, keeping a close eye on his potential, or one of his, uh, well, his next opponent, by the way it goes. Kenny Nairns, loads of points on the floor, and he's made up for it there to some extent with a 180. Sixty. Right, the, the, the 96 again. This time he gets the treble. Center three holds the throw. Kenny Nyans holding his own in this one. 100. Biggest check out of the match so far. 96 for the 27 year old from Belgium. And he backs it up with a ton 80 and a ripple of applause from. Wesley plays you. Well, while he wasn't great yesterday, man, he's only averaged 76. He did hit three 180s, and he's already hit two in this game. Yeah, I mean, I might have done him a bit of a disservice earlier. But oh, no, he wasn't good nine. yesterday. But, what but I, it was what a 6 1 win, so he beat what was there. He will probably come into this thinking this is maybe a 100. good time to play Luke Humphreys. I mean, who knows what his mindset is right now, but there is certainly a lot of logic to that argument. Well, he, didn't, he didn't seem a, a lad short on confidence, oh, and well, he has beaten Luke Humphreys. Beat him in a, a development tour semi-final. I mean, admittedly, that's five years ago. But he was a contemporary of his on the youth system. Yeah, well, very similar ages, aren't they? Luke Humphreys, yeah, 27 as well, isn't he? So, in fact, there's only only a month between them, less than a month between them in terms of the age. So, as you say, two contemporaries who perhaps know each other very well from their exploits in the past, but Humphreys with that 78 checkout levels things up once again at two apiece. Intriguing start to this one. Nayans, I think, will be of the two, perhaps the more satisfied with how things are going. Of course, it's all about whether he can keep it up. Yeah. On throw, especially. You would think come the end of the game, if Kenny Nayans is still averaging 82 as he is, that yes. won't be enough. But we're four legs into this, and Luke is not anywhere near his top game he's got a chance he's giving himself a chance yeah and obviously the longer it goes on in this vein then Mayans I think will have every right to grow in confidence as the night wears on 97 Should get down to a finish first here, Nayans, yeah, from is. two to eight. Welcome, Nana and Grandpa. That's something else Humphreys has to look forward to in later life, maybe. It's 96. One step at a time, though. Yeah, I think so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 100, and he was 132. Mm, chance evaporates immediately, but one big treble. Oh, doesn't even do that. And it's another one of those 42. scruffy visits from Nayans, and this one could be punished. Because 90 may only mean a dart at the bullseye. Yes. And that sets it up very nicely for Luke Humphreys. Now Kenny double 15, don't miss inside. 60. Well, a, not a bad guy that first dart, actually, but didn't really make any use of it. Double 10 now for Humphreys for the break of throw and it squeezes that one in. And is that the game changer? Is that the turning point in this match? Humphreys leads for the first time. Six leg loop to throw first. Game on. There he goes. First max or second maximum for Luke Humphreys. Levels the tally at two apiece for the match. 140. Yes. Yes, please, Luke Humphreys. Back to back. This is the place to do it, as we discussed yesterday. 58, Luke Humphreys. Well, here we go. What a way to round off what has been a momentous week for Luke Humphreys, but he strays into the treble one and he finds a 20 for good measure. The crowd boo in unison as the dream of the nine data extinguishes itself. 100. But it could still be an 11 dart holder throw that would open up a 4 2 lead. There's the treble 20, and there's Tots. 4 2 it is. No 9 darter, but a two leg cushion. 
and hopefully it's yeah, a nice touch there from Mayans as well. Yeah, that's the, the real multiple Euro Tour winning Luke Humphreys that we've seen a glimpse of there. And there's a temptation to inscribe a narrative for this. Well, he was battling, he was battling, wasn't playing well. Soon as he got that break and got ahead, all of a sudden, yeah, I've got this game, relax, play his proper stuff. The calm before the storm this match in many respects, given the fact we have Craig Galliano, 20-year-old host nation qualifier up against Peter Wright, the world champion and the world number one. It's got quite lively in here for the Gibraltar players, hasn't it? It has, and it's. Um, I think the attendance is a point. lot healthier than it was. I mean, we weren't here last year, but maybe ever. Yeah, in terms of for 2019, Saturday. yeah. 60. Oh, good stuff. Very good stuff. 180 number three for Kenny Nayans. Nice clustering with those first two, and he left himself a lot of room to work with, but he still had a lot to do there. Well, this would just give him some renewed optimism, perhaps. Nicely done, 45 check out, and little wonder he enjoys that, and he's got every right to as well. That's a really good response after that 11 data by Luke Humphreys. 14 data, but look at Humphreys now, just showing one or two signs of class here and there, isn't he? Seven 180s in this match. Can he go back to back again? No, is the answer. Nine he does pick up one treble just to maintain Kenny Nines at arm's length. 96. Well, whatever the outcome of this match, I think Kenny Nines can take a lot of credit from this, and I think he should oh, use it. No, no. In whatever way possible in terms of taking the next step particularly with the stuff that he's doing on the, on the challenge tour as well we mentioned that title that he won on the challenge tour earlier this year 48 here for Humphreys double 16 5 three, another 11 dart holder throw back to back for Luke Humphreys and the number one seed and the four-time European tour champion this year going well going well once again yeah and you're just a first trace of a smile there from Luke Humphreys wasn't there 27 he's got in front and then he's held both times in 11 darts. You're forcing your opponent to hit a nine darter. And oh, right now, Luke Humphries is probably feeling he can't take this game away from me. He's completely in my hands. I'm throwing well. I'm finding the trebles. I'm hitting the doubles. And I've got multiple opportunities to, even if I don't close it out with a breaker throw here, I'm going to have the darts. And I just pluck another 11 darter out of the air. You cannot beat me. Well, there is every prospect that he could produce an 11 dart break of throw to seal the match needs something big here and he wouldn't put it past him 100 no, he is down to a finish maybe a 12 dart of them needs another trouble to get to a finish himself Kenny he's got that can he make it another maximum that is a fourth for Kenny Nayans 180's all over the place tonight. Yeah, doffer the cap there. Once again, five for Humphreys, four for Nayans, who's played his part in what I think has been a really competitive match, but a match that should well end and could well end very soon in favour of Humphreys, but you never know. Double 16. 78. Well, that would have been for a hold of throw. As it is, Nayans has to hope and pray now that Humphreys can't find double 18. 14 data incoming maybe on nines, and there it is. Well, Luke Humphreys was given a bit of a workout in the early stages of that one, but in the end he showed his class. Those two back-to-back -back 11 dart holds of throw really proving quite telling, but I think Kenny Nairns can take a lot of credit from that performance. And like I say, I hope he uses it to good effect moving forward in his own development and in his own career as well. Humphreys, number one seed, still on course for Euro Tour title.